What's up guys? Shade here with my first coding tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be basically how to code a navigation bar. I'm not going to teach how to, how to design my navigation bars, but if you want this one, you can download it in the description, or you can even make your own if you want. So, yeah. Uh, let's jump into it. Um, so if you have a background layer, you can uh, hide that, and as well as the text. So you'll basically just have your navigation bar, and what you want to do is you want to, want to um, cut it out basically just select it and then go edit copy merge and then paste it and by the by the end of that you want to have a folder an images folder and you what you want to have in is you can have your background image but I choose to you don't have to have them but I choose to because it looks better um, and then you want to have a navigation bar cut out like this um, you don't even have to do this you can just design it fully in Dreamweaver but I find this way much better that's my preferences though uh, basically after that you just want to open up Dreamweaver and click file new and go to HTML and then where's the doc type you want to go XHTML 1.0 strict and click create now uh, before you do anything I'm gonna save mine and I'm gonna save it into the folder that I have I'm gonna call it index oops index.html save it and I'm gonna click file new again and I'm going to click CSS this time and just click create. And then I'm going to click file, save as in that. And in the same folder, I'm just going to call it main.css and save it. And then you can close the main.css and have this page open. And what you want to do is you want to come down to this little chain here. It sh if you hover over it, it says uh, attach style sheet. You want to click that and hit browse. And basically go to the thing you just made, the style sheet you just made, which I called main. So right there and click OK and then OK. And what that does basically is it uh, it connects your style sheet to your index.html code so all the styles you put in here will mainly go towards this. So yeah. Um, so we're going to start with the CSS. Basically if you're doing a background this is what I usually do. I type in body and then swirly bracket and then background image. Oh one sec. Make sure you spell everything right or else it's not going to work. So background image, browse, and I'm just going to set this background image, close it off with the, I forget what they're called, and then you want to have a background, dash, repeat, and then no repeat, and that may, basically makes the background so it doesn't repeat itself over and over again, because if you don't have that, it will, and it looks really bad unless you want it to, and then you want to go to background size, and I'm going to put 100% so it fills the whole background, and then close it. And if you, you you can go to the design view and check it out, and it's all the it's the background, basically. And then now you want to type in ul, and then bracket, and then just basically copy what I'm doing. I don't really know what to say, so <laughs> so basically just list style type, and then none. Oops. And then margin. Zero padding zero and then overflow hidden. And you want to close that, close that with this bracket, and then you want to push enter, hit li, enter again, or you don't have to. I just do it because I'm used to it, you know. <laughs> uh, and you want to just put a float on that, float left, close that, and then you want to hit. A colon link comma a comma a colon visited bracket and then display block width 90 pixels make sure you add the pixels or else it won't work um, font family you can choose whatever font really you want I'm gonna choose Arial and then I'm going to add a font weight and I'm going to put bold again you, you can choose whatever you want here uh, same with the font size I'm going to put 12 pixels and padding 2 pixels and all these settings I'm putting down right now they all depend on how your navigation wants to look so it might look different for you so you might have to edit some of these uh, some of these around and then for color, I'm just going to put a 222631. It's a dark bluish, I 
think, yeah. And then text align center. This basically aligns the text to be center. Um, and a text decoration none. Where is none? Oh, there it is. And then you want to close that off. And then you want to have an A colon hover comma A colon active. And this is basically when you hover over it, this is what it's going to do. And all I want it to do is basically when it hovers over my text, I want to be turn a light blue. So I'm just going to put a color. You can put underlines or you can you can put underlines, color, or tons of other stuff, really. But I'm going to put three E5 CCF. That gives it a light blue color. Close that off and close the whole thing off. And then what I like to do is I'd like to make a nav tag. So hashtag nav and basically give it a make it float left and put a margin left. Oops. At 80 pixels and remember the pixels. Margin right. No, nope, mar. No, sorry, not type. Right top. That so that will push the push the text down a bit. Um, it's gonna push it down 18 pixels. Again, it varies. Depends how your navigation bar looks. And then close that off. And then the last one is gonna be hashtag bar. Open bracket. And then you're gonna go to background, image browse and you're gonna look for your navigation bar right, right here gonna open that and close that off and then again you have to do the background repeat again or else it's gonna repeat itself and look really stupid so yeah so make sure you have that and then you're gonna want to have a width and the way the width work is is you uh, go to the navigation bar that you saved so hold on let me just open it real quick images right here and it will tell you the width and height of it so it's 580 by 73 so just put that down so five, wait, what was it? 548 pixels, and then the height was 73 pixels, and then margin left auto, and a margin right auto. And basically what that does is it centers the whole navigation bar, but again, if you want to have it in a different spot, you don't have to do that. Um, now you want to go back to your source code, and you want to open up the body tag a bit, like that. And so now... You want to have a, I don't know what these kind, like greater than or equal to send sign, whatever. And uh, you want to put div id equals and then quotations. And you want to have uh, the bar, close that. And then you want to push enter. And basically, you write the same thing, but instead of the bar, you want to have navigation, well, nav or whatever you named it. And then push enter. And then. Uh, greater than or equal than sign and push ul or not push but type it in <laughs> and then close it and then what I like to do is I like to tab it here so it gives it like um, it looks more neat you know so and you're going to want to type li or li like that sorry and then you want to type in ahref equals and then you can either leave it blank or put a hashtag I like to put a hashtag so I, I don't know I've just I've always done that and then you want to close that and then like the text on your navigation bar is where you put it here so say if you want like that want it to say like home uh, products about us or contact this is where you would put it so i'm going to put home and then i'm going to close it and then i i close like you close the li or the a and then you close the li and then i'm going to copy and paste it to make more links so i'm just going to do three others and i'm going to put you just basically change the text in each one so products and then this one I'm going to put uh, about us. And then here I'm going to put contact us. And then you're going to push enter and you want to close the UL, which is right there. And then I'm just going to try and align it up as best as I can. Like so. And then you're going to want to close the two divs that you made at the top here. You're going to want to close those off. So right there, you just close that one div and that div. And that's basically it. You should see it here that your navigation bar. And you can even test it yourself by going up to this little button here in the preview debug and sl or slash debug in browser. And uh, you can preview it in Explorer or Chrome. And I believe you can edit your browser list and add like Firefox and everything in there. But considering I only use Google Chrome, so I'm just going to use that. You want to click save changes. Yes. Yes. And it will basically open up your 
internet browser and show you what it looks like. Mine's taking forever for some reason. Just give it a second. There we go, it's loading. My computer's super slow, sorry about that. And basically, there's your navigation bar, so when you hover over it, it turns blue. Everything's aligned nice, got a nice shadow. Um, yeah, you can click it. Nothing will happen though, because I didn't link it to anything, but you can link it to something. Like, if you want to link it to something, you could uh, go back to your code, and where it says the hashtag, you can put, like, your YouTube channel. Like, I'll put mine for a second. Tube.com slash shady moves. And then basically just close that. And then reopen it and save it. Mine's gonna take a long time again. And then so I put them the home one. So if you click home, it will take me there. Or not. <laughs> I did something wrong. Oh, because there's a hashtag still there. Make sure you delete the hashtag. Let me try that again. Preview Chrome, yes. I'm trying to close these real quick. Basically, that's it. You just click Home, and it will take you directly to wherever you linked. Mine's again, it's taking forever, but it took me to my YouTube channel, if you see right here. And so, yeah, basically, that wraps everything up. Um, if this, uh, let me know what you guys think of this tutorial. If you have any questions, private message me or put a comment below. Uh, I'm going to be releasing more tutorials lately. If this one, if you guys enjoy this one, um, you guys can also give me tutorial uh, suggestions if you want in the comments. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, until then, bye.